Let's automatically select some layers here inside of Photoshop. So I'm using the Move tool, and over here inside of the Layers panel, I have a white background layer, blue, green, and red dots on their own separate layers. Let's click in a blank part of the Layers panel to make sure nothing is selected, and then let's come out to the canvas and let's try and move this red dot, and all I do is get this error message. Photoshop's basically telling me there are no layers selected. No worries, let's choose OK. Back to the Layers panel, choose the red layer, and now I can happily move this red dot around. Now, I don't even have to directly select this red dot. I could, for example, click, drag, and release way over here, and I'm happily moving the red dot around. So all you have to do with a layer selected is just grab any part of the canvas, and you can move that layer around. Now, if I wanted to move the green dot, so if I try and grab the green dot, of course, all I do is continue to move the red dot. Back to the Layers panel, select the green layer, and now I can happily move the green dot around. Let me undo a few steps just there. So coming over to the Layers panel and selecting the relevant layers is fine, but it can be a little time consuming. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just grab content directly on the canvas here and have it move? And what's great is we can actually do just that. So there's a little option that we need to invoke, and it's this little guy just up here, Auto Select. Now, if you're not seeing the options running across the top of Photoshop, up under the Window menu, Activate Options just here. So let's activate Auto Select. I'm going to click again in a blank part of the Layers panel, so nothing's selected. Got the Move tool, got Auto Select active. Let's grab my red dot, green dot, blue dot. See how quickly I was able to move everything? Very nice. So I'm just going to undo that again a few steps. Now, as powerful as Auto Select is, that's actually part of the problem. Because it's so powerful, you can very easily accidentally move content around. So some people love this feature. This feature drives other people crazy. But what's great is you can actually have the best of both worlds. You can actually temporarily activate this option. And let me show you how to do that. So let's turn this off. And again, Layers panel, click in a blank part, nothing selected. Now, if you hold down the Command or the Control key, which I'll do just now, notice Auto Select becomes active. As soon as I release that button, the Control or the Command key, that is, Auto Select goes off. So let's temporarily activate it just now, move everything around, release Command or Control, and Auto Select is now back off again. Meaning, if I want to move, for example, the red dot around, I'd have to now come over to the red layer and move it around like so. Very cool. Let me again undo a few steps just here. There's one last method that I would like to show you, and that involves bringing up a menu via a right mouse click. So you can see here, the red and the blue dots overlap just here. If I right mouse click, you can see red, blue, and background show up just here. So if I click on blue, it selects the blue layer for me, and I can now move it around. Red and green overlap just here. If I right mouse click again, and maybe I'll choose the background this time. And you can see the background is selected just out here. So I hope that gives you some good ideas on how you can automatically select your layers here inside of Photoshop. Catch you later.